Oh, it's true. Holy cow. The COVID vaccine does make you magnetic. Oh, jeez. Well, hi. <laughs> and uh, you, I, I, you caught me. I mean, I'm, I'm, fully, I'm fully vaccinated uh, against COVID. Uh, and uh, I saw this thing online where uh, they're saying that like uh, metal things like make you magnetic. Um, but hey, keys aren't magnetic. They're made of brass, copper and zinc. Look, here's a bar magnet and nothing. Take the split ring and yep, that's magnetic. Here's a refrigerator magnet plastic side there's a magnetic side but I can stick that there hmm but guess what I can stick a business card to my forehead as well ah, why is that well it's the oils and sweat on your skin it has an adhesive effect actually if you feel your forehead unless you've powdered it or just taken a shower it'll feel a little bit tacky so there's some silly stuff on the internet these days um, and in government hearings. Anyway, the real reason that uh, I'm doing a video today is that I just updated the firmware on my Panasonic Lumix G9, which I am filming on right now, to firmware version 2.4, which is supposed to greatly enhance the continuous autofocus abilities. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to bob and weave around to see if it tracks my face, um, but I was thinking that maybe, and, and I'm using Panasonic's image app, so if I look at my phone, it's because I can actually see uh, what's going on on my phone rather than looking up at the uh, uh, monitor on the camera, which the monitor on the camera, which um, turns off after a while. So there's probably a setting I haven't found to keep that from happening at at any rate um, so here's my Lumix G95 and I'm just gonna move that up close and see if that focuses on it and apparently it does with little issues you know we could try it with something a little bit smaller because that's a nice big target but what about this what about this that's still seeing my face so a little small object oh look it's hard uh what about a spoon that i have here so yeah it's got my hand See, on the Panasonic image app, I can see the little focus box that forms around objects and tracks them. So, the mix lens cap. Yep, apparently it finds that pretty easily too, although I think it, it really wants to, I've got it on face detection, so it really wants to grab hold of my face. But um, what I did this morning, is I took the camera out on a little walk, just to, not even 15 minutes was to here by car is a forest reserve along the Des Plaines River called Thatcher Woods. And uh, I took a little walk uh, and tried using the video for various things, including a heron who caught a couple fish, a great blue heron who caught a couple fish. We'll see how well it works for at least birds. Um, one thing though, I was hoping there would be geese, and maybe we could get geese uh, because they, they do take off and fly. Uh, but the geese are not there, and I'm thinking that's because the goslings have grown up and fledged and can fly, and they've flown, and they've flown off to wherever geese fly after the babies um, can leave uh, the ground. Anyway, have a look at this. There's a great blue heron stalking fish in the Des Plaines River. 
uh, the continuous autofocus setting was on setting 3 in the menu, and that was inadvertent. Uh, I changed it later to seven, setting 1 after the uh, heron clips. But you can see there's no wobble. Uh, it's locked on to focus pretty well. And towards the end here, there is a tree branch in the foreground. You can see the leaves come into, come into the frame. It's very fuzzy. It doesn't lose focus onto those leaves. Uh, he's going to catch another fish here. Uh, again, no wobble. It's locked onto him pretty, pretty well. Uh, another than a glitch that you're going to see right uh, by there is a glitch. It looks pretty good. Uh, here is an American robin, and again, uh, uh, I think I changed the autofocus continuous setting to th uh, to one, but it's uh, locked onto him and not wobbling and not losing focus on any of the leaves. Uh, so that's not bad. Uh, this is a common grackle perched on a branch sticking out of the river. Uh, again, it locks onto him and doesn't lose focus on the uh, moving water in the background and no wobble. It worked well for this hop hornbeam tree flower, which was blowing in the wind as well. So I, th I think for the most part, um, this firmware update does a pretty good job. The autofocus is uh, more locks on better, tracks better and you don't get the wobble um, that you got uh, previously when it was set to continuous autofocus. Um, and you could see that wobble when you were taking stills and it was a little distracting. Now it seems like Panasonic's done a good job, uh, so kudos to them, uh, because the autofocus, uh, tracking autofocus works uh, really well. I, I, I don't know if it's as good as some of the other offerings that are out there that are very good, but uh, it's at least to the point now where it's usable um, and you don't have it um, losing focus. I hope you liked uh, this video. Uh, if so, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Uh, I've got some links in the description to uh, my Star Drop book, uh, ebook on both Apple Books and uh, Kindle, and a link to my fine art photography. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.